So you want to gain XP fast, huh? Well, we can't blame you. After all, leveling up in Pokemon Go is one of the most important aspects of the game, as it'll unlock new items that will help you catch Pokemon and battle gyms. Plus, you can always gloat if you want. But the thing about gaining XP is that as you level up, you need a lot more XP to reach later levels. So while level 2 only requires 1,000 XP, you'll need 500,000 by level 30. Yeah, it's a bit of a drag. Fortunately, we're here with some quick tips to earn you some fast XP. But first, let's go over the basics of how you earn that XP. Now, every Pokemon you catch automatically nets you 100 XP by default, and you'll earn 500 more if it's one that you haven't caught before. And if you time your Pokeball throws right, you'll earn bonus XP the smaller the shrinking ring is. 10 for nice timing, 50 for great, and 100 for excellent. And if you catch the Pokemon while throwing a curveball by shaking the Pokeball, you'll net an extra 10 XP. Then there's egg hatching. 2 kilometer eggs provide 200 XP, 5 kilometers net you 500, and 10 kilometers are worth 1,000. Even better, if it's a new Pokemon, you'll get that same 500 XP bonus as well. And then you'll earn 50 XP for each Pokestop you hit up, though this is sometimes 100 if it drops 6 or more items, which is completely random. Each Pokemon you defeat while training at a gym owned by your team is worth 10 XP, and defeating each Pokemon of another team's gym earns you 100 XP, with an extra 50 if you beat them all. And finally, evolving one of your Pokemon is worth yet another 500 XP. And that's where some of our tips come into play. Speaking of which, let's get right to them. As you probably already know, Lucky Eggs double the amount of XP you earn for 30 minutes, which means that knowing when to use one can make a huge difference. And one of the best times to use it is shortly after you've started playing the game, because every Pokemon you encounter will be new, meaning you'll earn at least 1200 XP for each new catch. But there's a rub to this. Because Lucky Eggs can't be earned until you reach level 9, that means you'll have to shell out real-life cash to take advantage of this method. It's really only viable in the early game since you'll obviously encounter less new Pokemon, but by then you'll want to keep track of the progress you're making. For example, if your 10 kilometer egg is about to hatch, use a lucky egg right before then to receive 2000 XP, and immediately after, start evolving your Pokemon. Okay, let's be real. There's nothing exciting about Pidgey, Caterpie, and Weedle, except for the fact that you can use them to gain XP ridiculously fast, and that's because each of them only requires 12 candies to evolve, instead of the usual 25, 50, or even higher. This means that once you've caught just 4 of any of them, you'll have enough candy to evolve one. Just transfer the other 3 to the professor for more candy, and evolve the remaining one to instantly earn 500 XP. So it's in your best interest to hunt down as many of these common Pokemon as you can, instead of just ignoring them. Yeah, even though we just told you to stock up on Pidgey, Caterpie, and Weedle, don't evolve them one at a time, because you can combine this trick with the Lucky Egg to double your XP. So it's a much better idea to stockpile as many Pidgey, Caterpie, Weedle, and Candy as you can before activating a Lucky Egg and evolving all of them at the same time for an easy 1000 XP a pop, and that will quickly add up, all at the cost of just a single Lucky Egg. Unfortunately, you'll only get lucky eggs when you reach specific levels, making them a bit of a rarity. By that, we mean you'll have only earned 9 of them by the time you reach level 30, which makes spending money on the lucky eggs become a bit of a necessity if you want to maximize how quickly you level up. Alright, so that's all the tips we have for you, but what do you earn for leveling up anyway? Well, along with item bonuses, new items will be unlocked that you can then find at Pokestops. Level 5 unlocks potions and revives, as well as the ability to challenge gyms. Level 8 unlocks Raspberries, Level 10 is Super Potions while 12 is Great Balls, Level 15 will unlock Hyper Potions, 20 nets you Ultra Balls, 25 is Max Potions, and 30 is Max Revives, all of which become increasingly useful the stronger you, and your opponents, get. Leveling is the key to being able to challenge the more powerful gyms and potentially hold them, as well as capturing some of the harder to catch Pokemon out there. It can be a struggle as you reach the higher levels, but these tips will guarantee that you're always making progress, even if you're just catching the most common of Pokemon. Of course, let us know if you have any tips of your own in the comments. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming.